Hi, this is Connie, and welcome to my new series. And it well, it's it's kind of kind of new. I've done one video about it before, and that is my adult coloring book obsession. And I'm going to continue that series by telling you about two um, coloring books that I have. I, I own quite a few of them. And so I'll be doing two coloring books a week, telling you about those books, and then showing you what I've done during the week. So um, if you like that kind of thing, please stay tuned. Okay, so if... Um, if you're looking for an update on me or anything, just um, I will link down below my um, Makeup of the Week uh, video that I did this week, and I kind of talked about myself in that video a little bit, and I will keep you updated from there on. Thank you, everybody, for all your kind comments and everything. So let's get started. Why don't I just go on to what I've done this week? Um, I've done a lot this last couple of days. <laughs> Um, the only thing about these books, see, I just cannot keep them there. You know, you, you kind of bend them over to do stuff, and then they get all icky like this. Okay, so this first book that I'm going to show you is Inspiring Color Designs. Um, this is a premiere issue. It's February's issue. I got this at the beginning of December. And um, it's got all kinds of, like, just neat designs in it. But it looks like it's going to be a continuing thing. I have not looked, so I don't know if there's anything out for March yet or not, which I would assume there would be since this was a December, or I got it in December. Okay, I started the week doing this one. And most of everything in here is done with uh, gel pencils. That is my medium of choice is gel pencils. I'll first tell you that. Um, I do have colors and I do have colored pencils. And But the thing that I like to use the most is gel because, um, I don't know, it's just I like the different um, variations in it. Like some are glitter, some are metallic, some are... Um, like multicolored, some are just regular. Um, I really like them, and they glide on easier. They're um, I don't know. A lot of people like colored pencils because of the variation in. It depends on how hard you push the pencil, you know, and to get different layers and stuff. Which I don't blend, and I don't. I am such a simple color person. I just color for enjoyment and to focus my mind and to help with my depression. And uh, so that's that's what I do. Anyway, this picture I did with gel pens. And you can tell it's just, you know, that's not one of my best. I don't, to tell you the truth, I don't care for stuff with animals in it very well. This here I did with gel. And you can tell, you know, the different variations of the, the glitter and the, uh, that kind of stuff in this. Um, I don't think I did that this week. This one here I did this week, though. Okay. This one I did... Um, towards the beginning of the week. I think I, I finished it like Friday night though. Isn't that pretty? Just, you know, the different colors on each. How you can use different colors um, to make different looks on things. And those, like I said, those were all done. This here was done with markers. I did not do this this week, but I wanted to show you this book. And I didn't color it all because I mean, I left the white areas like that because with markers, um, it's so much harder to get. I, it would just been too much for that picture. Okay. I did this last week also. I love that paisley type stuff. This one I did um, Friday. Friday night. I did that all Friday night. I couldn't sleep. Um, 
I think that's pretty close to being done for this book. I started this one with markers, and I just, I'm, I'm not as crazy about markers as I am everything else, and I wasn't liking the way this was going. I don't like the colors in this. Um, I mean, the colors are fine, but I don't like the saturation and stuff, so I will probably finish that picture with either colored pencils or um, um, gel pens. That's it for that book. This one here is Flying Colors, the premier color bo coloring book for adults. Just add color for fun and relaxation. And this one here, this is a volume one too, so it must be a recurring thing. And this is the one that I just have been working on. Um, this one here I did when I first got the book. And I got this the same time as I did the other, beginning of December. This was done with colored pencils. This one here has really got a lot of really neat things. Um, this is done in colored pencils also. I love, 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 love that kind of picture. I mean, that's just um, all these different places to color. I just, I love it. This is done with colors. Regular Crayola colors. I did this when I first got it. This is markers. Isn't that pretty? Okay, if I can find the one. But see what markers do? They bleed through so bad. This is the one I just finished. I worked on that um, yesterday and today. Isn't that gorgeous? I actually ran out of two of my gel pens doing this one. They are empty. I'm going to start on, I'll show you the one I'm going to start on here. I wanted to see if there was any other ones that I had done in this one. Um, yeah, here's one. This is done in markers also. See, you can tell the richness in the colors, how much deeper the colors are with markers, and I don't really like that. Um, I mean, that's beautiful. That's that's absolutely beautiful the way that is, but it's just too rich for me, for my taste. Okay, but this one here, I think, this is the one I'm going to start on tonight. Okay, so those are those two. That's what I've been working on. And I will show you um, every week what I have done that week. Um, I will actually date the pictures, that way I know what I've been doing. But I thought I would share two books with you. Um, these are from, excuse me, these are from Joann's that I got in December, the beginning of December. And these are, um, um, I got them on sale. It's, uh, it was like buy one, get one half off. And, then, and plus, then I used my 40% off also on these. So, there's always coupons at Joann's. So, anyway, the first book is Zen Doodle Coloring, Calming Swirls, Stress Relieving Designs to Color and Display. Illustrations are by Nicolette Corley. And that's that book. You can kind of show, see what it does on the back there. But I like these books that kind of show you a little bit of what you can do with these books. But this one is um, Zendula Coloring Calming Swirls. Let's see here. It doesn't say date-wise or anything, but I'll show you a few of these pictures. love this kind of stuff. I'm not going to show you everything. I'll just kind of go through it here a little bit. You can kind of get the idea what these pictures are. Okay. And there's, a, I mean, this is a thick book. 
So there's a lot of pictures in here. I like that one. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea. Um, it says, Color Away Stress with these calming swirls. This stunning book of inspired, unique designs offers a therapeutic retreat into a world of beauty, inner peace, and relaxation. Each exquisite design allows you to fall deep into this calming experience of coloring, providing tranquility and ease that we so often miss in this hustle and bustle of our daily lives. In Zen Doodle Coloring Calming Swirls, you'll find over 60 original, relaxing, abstract drawings to color. Feel the stress melt away as you create one-of-a-kind piece of artwork to display. Each page is perforated, making it easy to frame and display your art. You can use colored pencils, crayons, or markers. There is no right or wrong way to do it. Coloring is a great way to unplug and de-stress, and anybody can do it. So anyway, that is that book. The next book in her series, and this, this is illustrated by Julia Snagirviva. Skir... Snagirviva. Sorry. <laughs> uh, creative Sensations, and this is Hypnotic Patterns to color and display. And there is her name here, the illustrator. And that's the book. Shows on the back here the same thing. Show you a few of these. See? Oh my god, I love that. I have a feeling I'm going to like this one better than I like the other one. Even like that. I mean, that is just... Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, that's pretty. And look how busy that one is. Holy cow. That one's going to take a while. And this too. Oh, look at this one. Okay, that's all I'm going to show you. But anyway, um, I, I thought about naming this my adult coloring obsession. And I'm going to like I said, I'm going to look at two books with you guys every single week. Plus, I'm going to show you what I've been up to um, coloring or drawing. Or if I get any new supplies, I'll show you that, which I don't see coming. And I don't need any new supplies. I mean, I've got plenty. Um, I mean, these coloring books are going to last me forever. I've got a lot of them that I picked up in November and December. Um, a lot of them were on sale that I found on sale that I got really good buys on. So I will be showing you all of those. And if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you very soon. I love you guys. Thank you for everything.